Well, this whole project to reintroduce Bolsan tortoise is, I think, incredibly innovative. And it has built off of perseverance, partnerships, and then creative uses of the Endangered Species Act. You know, it's really cool to reintroduce and think you're helping Bolsan tortoises into the future that they might not survive otherwise. I think few people realize how little we still know about a lot of species. So we don't know exactly how long Bolsan tortoises live. We think it's about 80 years, but we don't know for sure. Like this is this is so cool because we're thinking generationally, right? Which is the way we should be thinking. The Bolson tortoise is so long lived that we've got to keep doing these things over and over and over again. If, if you can imagine a, a population of hundreds of tortoises. And that's what viability requires. A handful here and a handful there. That's, a, that's not good enough. Viability demands okay. numbers. In order to reestablish the population, we can't keep them protected at all times. So the releases are the essential step to getting them back on the ground and letting them be wild tortoises. because otherwise they're just managed tortoises. So this is, to, to us, this is the pinnacle of what we do. We are not in the business of making pets. We're in the business of making wild animals and that means you have to let them go. You know, one of the things I've done is taken the years off of these, and I've been measuring these and a bunch of others. Uh, I think we're in the uh, uh, largely the 2012 to 15 uh, age bracket. Think of the tortoise, not of me. You want both? We want both, Mark. No, we don't. <laughs> oh, I do. No, we don't. <laughs>